Hey folks, so I have a confession to make. I have discovered and have been binging the videos of Tim Woodford, uh, who goes by T Woodford without the, out the O on YouTube. I don't know why I haven't discovered him before, um, but Tim is uh, another Canadian luthier uh, who has a channel on YouTube. And there are a number of reasons why I really like his videos. First of all, he's an excellent luthier. I mean, you can just tell the quality of his work uh, is exceptional. And he's really good at presenting his works. One thing to be a good guitar tech or luthier, it's another thing to be able to film it. Something that um, I haven't managed to do. I haven't been found a way to be comfortable, do comfortable doing it. Um, a lot of times when you see the beginning of his videos, uh, the state of the guitar that he's going to repair, you just say to yourself, there's no way. There's no way, but he finds a way. And he, he does, I think that he does uh, restoration uh, work beyond the level of most uh, people that film their guitar work on YouTube. Uh, he does seem to get a lot of um, vintage guitars. For for instance, a lot of his videos are Martins, Gibsons, um, older uh, vintage guitars like Harmonies and Airlines. And um, but he's not a snob, and he's not a purist. Uh, so if his customer thinks it's worth something's worth restoring, uh, he'll do it. And so he's got various videos where he's repairing or doing subsequent, sorry, uh, substantial uh, restorations to import guitars or um, budget guitars that have sentimental value for people. Uh, his neck reset, um, his in interior restorations are particularly interesting. Uh, there's a number of videos where he takes the back off guitars. Um, and does, you know, kind of almost like, uh, reminds me of the work that I used to see working in a violin shop when we used to take the back off of double basses and cellos uh, and violins and, um, you know, to shore up braces or, or um, cleat cracks or work with sound bars, tone bars, um, replace stuff internally, fix really bad splitting woods, um, just really excellent, excellent channel. But the other reason I like him, uh, his work, he has a great voice. Um, it's really pleasant to listen to. Uh, he's just got a very smooth um, talking voice and um, not jarring, very pleasant. And perhaps is the most well-spoken um, guitar presenter that I've ever seen on YouTube. And by that, I mean he's erudite. He knows all the correct terminology. Um, he is um, extremely informed uh, on everything he works on. So he does the research. For instance, if he's working on a Martin uh, or Gibson of a particular year or a period, you know, he knows the designs. He knows the people that made it. He does research on the uh, composition, woods, um, joinery, um, headstock shapes. Uh, so you get sort of a history lesson uh, as well as a tutorial when you watch his, his videos. And I've seen him do videos on ethnic instruments and um, instruments outside of the guitar world. Uh, and he's just as equally well um, studied uh, on those things as well. I, I watched a, a video on a particular Spanish guitar maker, um, a Spanish guitar, uh, in which he gave the history, you know, of that particular maker. And I love stuff like that. I find the whole history of uh, luthery fascinating, uh, whether it's in the, you know, 17th, early 17th century violin world, uh, or if it's in the Viennese classical guitar world, or, or the uh, old vihuelas and, and uh, Baroque guitars. Um, 
I love it all, and I think I, I think he studied uh, in that area and really presents his views well. If you want to learn the glossolalia or the glossary of the um, guitar making world, uh, watch his videos. Um, he uses all the correct um, definitions and uh, phrases for parts of the instrument. Uh, you'll learn the uh, you know the correct terminology for various joints. Um, you know, various cuts, um, tools as well. I mean, he has an array of hand tools, um, you know, from the Japanese traditions, from the European traditions, uh, and he uses all the correct terminology. So it's just, it's just a, a veritable treasure trove of information uh, watching his videos. And I know that there are people um, <clears throat> kind of like that who watch my videos, so maybe you you haven't discovered him yet and you'd like to go and uh, see some of those videos um, of course there are a couple of really good Canadian um, youtubers in the guitar world um, and uh, you know a, a variety of, of nationalities represented at that level of luthery we've got some great uh, UK channels we've got um, some great uh, US Canadian European uh, <clears throat> so it's a great uh, little niche in the YouTube world um, if you can't find something to watch on Netflix or Prime or Hulu you can just launch into the uh, those channels on YouTube and spend many an evening you know sort of um, extending your knowledge on the world of guitar building and repair uh, other instruments as well uh, so I just thought I'd pass that along because I've enjoyed um, uh, binging through a, a substantial amount of videos in the last few days uh, and really enjoyed it and um, you know felt some areas of inspiration for you know things to talk about uh, on this channel as well my last two videos were on wood uh, koa keisha um, while rich light isn't a wood but it is a uh, a, a milled product um, wood milled product because they use uh, many layers of paper uh, with phenolic resin to make rich light so it it has the properties of a wood but those were inspired by by um, you know seeing so many good videos uh, on his channel and thinking well you know these are things that come up and are worth presenting um, some ideas on my own so uh, hopefully I will uh, continue to do that as things pop up uh, meanwhile I'm gonna go play this very nice loop guitar and um, enjoy myself. See you later.